Hey everybody, it's Chris Daniels here, aka CD Playa, and today we have another episode in our most influential fingerboard series. Episode 1 covered Martin Ehrenberger, who was the founder of Black River Rams. Episode 2 was on Gary Moyer, aka Mr. Scorpio, who revolutionized the DIY scene in the English-speaking online fingerboard community. Episode 3 covers someone that is so important to the fingerboard community, and that is Nathan Thompson, who founded the famous fingerboard forum, Fingerflip Inc., also known as FFI. In 2002, the internet and online community was drastically different from what it is today. Visual media-based platforms such as YouTube and Instagram were not around yet, and TikTok wouldn't be founded for another 14 years. The most popular news aggregation and discussion site, Reddit, wouldn't be founded until 2005. How did communities of people communicate on the internet in those times? Well, people congregated around instant messaging services, such as AOL Instant Messenger, MSN Messenger, as well as bulletin board systems, which are also known as forums. This provided a way for people all over the world to connect and communicate. The fingerboard community had its own forums. To start with, there was techdex.com, which was a fan-ran community that lasted for about nine months to a year back in the year 2000. Shortly thereafter, Fingerboard Jabber had a very brief run of about three months. Fingerboarders.net followed suit, lasting just over a year before it died. While there was the techdeck.com online community, it was filled with users of all ages and all languages which made it very difficult to have a structured conversation. It was in this environment that there was two forums that were created. The first was Red Zone Fingerboards Forum, also known as RZF, which catered to a more hardcore, English-speaking fingerboard community. It was invite-only and very quick to scorn those that the community deemed as noob. This community only lasted a handful of years before the lack of new blood led to its slow demise. The second forum, Fingerflip Inc., or FFI for short, became a staple in the online fingerboard community, providing structure and stability for the next 15 years. Nathan Thompson is an award-winning professional cinematographer, owner of multiple companies including production company Contrast Visuals, media rental house Contrast Cine. He's also a 19-time Emmy award-winning filmmaker, working with companies such as Amazon, Google, Hardee's, ESPN, Spotify, Taylor Swift, Wayne Gretzky, the list goes on. Back in 2002, Nathan was actually named National Videographer of the Year by the National Press Photographers Association. Prior to this successful career, Nathan was actually one of the most important figures in the fingerboard community. He created a foundation for thousands of fingerboarders from all over the world to share their love for their hobby with each other. Nathan wasn't alone in the formation of the FFI forum. Drew Glass also contributed initially, although he was only around for a very short period of time. And even though I was a member of the community in the early days, I actually never talked with Drew. They developed a website using Flash, which had some fun finger skate animations. I wish I could share this with you. Unfortunately, it seems to be lost. The site also had a robust message board which was quickly adopted by a large chunk of the English-speaking fingerboard community. Eventually, we saw fingerboarders from all over the world join FFI. The forum that Nathan built became an institution within fingerboarding. It outlived all the other English-speaking fingerboard forums. Some notable fingerboarders during the early days include Paolo Melillo, Mike Schneider, Manu Oberla, Jay Linehan, Joe LeClaire, Gonzalo, Bobby and Schreiter, Andre Coral, Renz Van Brie, Mikko Kanev, Martin Ilsley, Tina Wayne, Simon Cartledge of Cartwheels, Ammon Wilkes, Dave O. Francis, Jader Moeller from Evolve, Alex McMillan, Travis Appleman, Garrett Bowman, Nick Allen. I mean, it goes on and on. There's a lot of fingerboarders that were so influential that were on the forum. Nate was the center of it. Nate's major impact was not just administrating the most popular English-speaking professional fingerboard forum. 
He was also an innovative fingerboarder at the time, releasing a ton of full-length fingerboard parts. He was known for being extremely technical for the time, even dabbling in some freestyle back in 2002 and 2003. He was also known for his DIY and replica obstacles, such as those pier ledges that you see in San Francisco. Some notable parts that he had were written for reason. His part in Hazard's video Warfare, which also featured some fingerboard greats such as Alec McMillan, Simon Cartilage, Todd Baker, Yusef Tlemsani, among others. He also created Fock Video Magazine, which followed a similar script to 411 Video Magazine and had multiple episodes of that, and they were very popular among the community at the time. Eventually, fingerboarding slowly ended up taking a back seat as his real life priorities took the forefront. Tina Wade became the primary administrator, or as we also like to say, babysitter of FFI. Even so, Nate would continue to check in on the forum and continue to pay for the hosting of FFI for all those years. Personally, I have to say, I worked directly with Nate. Probably around 2006 and 2007, I became a moderator and quickly became one of the administrators too. He was always fair in his judgment. He always looked out for what was best for the community at large, and he was an amazing person. If there was no Nathan Thompson, I would say that fingerboarding would not even be close to where it is today, for his contribution were immense in the growth of fingerboarding. If you enjoyed this video, please mash that like button, hit that keyboard and comment on my video, and don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe to see more content. If you hit that notification bell, YouTube will give you a notification when I release a new video. And you can be the first person to comment, which is exciting, I think. All right, thank you all, much love, and go fingerboard. Peace.